Okay, here we are. I had to stop the first video just because I can't flip my camera around. So I just want to give you um, a little tour of outside our classroom. This is our bulletin board where everyone has their name on it with a little pomegranate on it. We're going to be adding photos and documentation to our um, bulletin board over the course of the next few weeks. Um, but here we go. We're going to go inside the classroom. And our um, other teacher will be Miss Rifka. Um, I'm so excited for you guys to meet her. I actually had her in preschool um, when she was maybe three or four herself. But we'll talk about that another day. Okay, so when we first walk into our classroom, you're going to notice lots of fun things. Right here is where we have our um, light table and puzzles. Our light table has lots of fun things that we're going to be um, adding. Here we go. Here's our light table. Some of you have already seen this, but I'm going to see if I can turn the light on. Um, we're going to add lots of different material materials and loose parts here to help increase our fine motor skills and add some math concepts over here. So that will be fun. Um, over here is we, ha we have our bookshelves with some fun books and I look forward to hearing about what kind of books um, your child likes to enjoy. One of the first books that we're going to be um, reading is called a mask is a mitzvah. Um, we're going to be talking a lot about masks um, in our classroom and keeping ourselves um, safe and healthy. Um, we're also going to be practicing a little bit of social distancing in our room. Um, every child has a carpet square with their name on it. So when we have a morning meeting, we can um, appropriately sit next, um, a little bit farther, um, farther apart from each other. Over here is our mishpacha um, shelf or our family shelf. So you might see that we have some family photos already on the shelf here. And here's, here's Miss Rifka's um, family needs to be put into a frame. Um, I'm asking if you could please bring us a um, picture frame of your of you and your family that we can put on our shelves. Okay, that'd be great. Over here is our kitchen area. We're all about loose parts um, over in the pre-K pomegranate room. We believe that loose parts, um, ex you know, enhance um, exploration and wonder and creativity and imagination. So you may not see a lot of plasticky toys anymore. Um, I'm wondering what um, our friends are gonna think those are and what they can do with them. So they might make a stone soup. They might um, use them as eggs, but I don't know. We'll see what they do. Here's our table. Some of our friends have already played with it. That's why it's not quite set up. Over here is our um, creation station. We've got two different sides of it. You can see, I have a little a few things already set up for Monday where kids can play on both sides. Again, still promoting a little bit of social distancing or maybe one or two friends playing at one time. So we have two different sides. These materials will be switched out frequently um, so they can be cleaned and just um, so we don't get bored with them, which is kind of fun. Over here is we, we have a stage and our stage again is multifunctional. It can be a stage. It can be another place for building and creating. Um, we have another shelf over here where um, we have our musical instruments and some Legos which is kind of fun. And I always put out some books to kind of enhance their creativity and, um, and see what they can build. Over here, this is a pretty cool, this is um, our newest um, addition to our classroom. This is a wind tunnel, and we'll be exploring with this um, on some of our afternoons during enrichment. Um, 
most likely on Wonder Wednesdays. I wonder what's gonna happen um, when we put items through the tunnel. This is our art station, the Lone Play Wagon. Um, over here we have different art materials, very open-ended. Um, you might see that I might put um, a picture of a pomegranate up here just to see if, um, what they're able to do, if they wanna paint a pomegranate, their version of a pomegranate or things like that. Um, you might see that artwork may not always come home. Um, that is because artwork will be typically put into their portfolios. Um, if you recall, we've asked for a three ring binder and those binders um, will be returned at the end of the year. And here we have our cubbies. Right now, because we only have 10 friends, we are asking, um, we're actually putting we're utilizing two cubbies, um, one for their um, extra clothes and one for their backpack and um, lunchbox and water bottle. And on the bottom will be their sheets and um, for rest time if they are staying. Now this cubby right here, you're gonna notice that we have a Ziploc bag. This Ziploc bag is for our masks. Um, it's gonna be, challenging for friends who've never worn a mask and they might need a mask break, which is okay. And so if they need a mask break to safely and um, they can put it in their baggie, um, they'll use it for lunch time and for rest time. And also you're gonna notice that every friend has a brand new set of art supplies. They have markers, crayons, and um, color pencils. And we're doing that because, again, um, to so they can have a little bit of um, responsibility to take care of their own items, but as well as if they need a moment to kind of um, have a quiet time, they can take their items and they can bring it over to what we call our kneeling table. Um, and our kneeling table is really just a, an opportunity for them to sit quietly with a friend um, or by themselves and they can just... Um, independently um, draw whatever they feel like and it's great um, more my biggest thing is really just taking care of their items so I just wanted to give you just like a like I said a look around our room you're gonna notice that you know it's not as full as we once had um, just because of our new guidelines and that's okay I actually am on the I'm a fan of less is more um, as a reminder um, a few things to please label everything um, that comes into the classroom, um, especially their box of clothes and I'll show you their box of clothes, um, their sunscreen, um, and all the things that go in there. So in, in their box should be um, underwear, socks, even an extra pair of shoes, just because when we do go outside, um, they're gonna get messy and that's okay. And sometimes they don't always like, they're not comfortable being sitting in those dirty clothes. Um, trying to think of what else we need. I think that's pretty much it. I'm really excited um, to share um, share the year with your children. Um, please use this, this Shutterfly for um, questions. You can always email me and Rivka. And I hope you guys have a great weekend and we look forward to welcoming all of our friends on Monday. Shabbat Shalom.